Hello everyone, welcome to Ashok IT. My name is Ashok. In this video, we will understand what is the stream API, how to create stream object and how to perform operations by using stream API. Alright, let's get started. Stream API introduced in JDK 1.8 version. By using this stream API, we can perform some operations on the data or we can also call as stream API is mainly used to process data. What is the meaning of processing the data? Let us take an example. I am going to take some employee objects. To represent group of objects in the Java, we are having collections. Collections are used to store the data. Once I store the data in the collection, I want to perform some operations on the data. So what are those operations? First thing, very common requirement, I want to sort the employees based on their salary in the ascending order or in the descending order. I want to group the employees based on their department or I want to group the employees based on their gender and I want to get the employee who is having max salary. I want to find the employee who is having minimum salary. I want to find out average salary of the employee from this collection. So these are very common operations and I want to filter these employee objects based on some conditions. In order to perform these operations, we need to write our own logic. Now, by using this stream API, we can easily perform these operations. To perform operations on the data, JDK 1.8 version introduced stream API. This stream API provided several interfaces and classes and methods as part of java.util package. Right. So we have two types of streams in the Java now. One is Java util stream, another one is java.io stream. So what is the difference between this util streams and io streams? Io streams are used to deal with files and file related operations. These Java util streams are used to deal with operations on the data. So mainly when we have the data in the form of an array or when we have the data in the form of collection, we can easily perform some common operations on that data by using stream API. IO streams are used to perform operations on the files. So in today's session, we are going to focus on the Java util stream API. Alright, let's start. Now here, in order to perform operations on the data by using stream API, first we need to create the stream object. How many ways we can create the stream object? Stream object can be created in two ways. One is by using off method and second one is by using stream method. By using off method, we can create a stream. By using stream method also, we can create a stream. Let us see both approaches. So first one, I am going to create the stream by using off method. Stream S1 is equal to stream dot off. 1 comma, 2 comma, 3 comma, 4. Like that you can give some values as an input to create the stream. And the second approach. I'm going to take one collection and I'll store the data in the collection. Array list AL is equal to new array list. Let's assume that we are storing the data in the array list object. Some values. Once we have the data in the collection, using this collection we can create a stream. For that we are going to use stream method. The stream method will return a stream object. These are the two ways to create the stream. One is by using off method and second one is by using stream method. If you want to create a new stream by giving some elements as input, then you can go for off method. If you already have the data in a collection, using that collection object you can create a stream by using stream method. Once we create the stream object, then we can perform operations on the stream. What kind of operations we can perform on the stream object? So stream API provided several methods to perform the operations. So those are, first one is filter method is available and we are having map method, flat map method is available, map 
flat map and we are having skip method we are having limit method we are having distinct method etc so these are one set of methods filter map flat map skip limit distinct these methods will perform some operations on the stream and will return a new stream as a output so the methods which will perform operation and will return a new stream those are called as intermediate operations on the stream similarly we are having some other methods in the stream for example count method is available and collect method is available group methods available those methods are going to perform operations on the stream and will return a result such kind of methods are called as terminal operational methods so stream api methods are divided into two types first one is intermediate operational methods and the second one is terminal operational methods what is the difference between intermediate operational methods and terminal operational methods intermediate operational methods will perform the operation and will return a new stream as a output terminal operational methods will perform the operation and will return a result not the new stream all right now let us see how to perform filter operation by using a stream filter comes under intermediate operation it will filter the data and will return new stream as a output let me create a stream object now stream s1 is equal to stream dot off i am giving some values 10 comma some 15 comma some 20 comma some 25 comma some 7 my stream object is created i want to filter the numbers by using this stream so to filter the numbers we have filter method s1 dot filter what is the condition to filter the data i am going to write a lambda expression i i greater than 2 any number which is greater than 2 i want to filter those numbers whenever we call the filter method we are giving a lambda expression this lambda expression is a predicate it will take a number as input it will return true or false by checking the condition if a number is greater than 2 it will return true otherwise it will return false value this filter method will filter the given numbers and will return a new stream as a output once we get the new stream as a output that stream data we can print by using for each method right system dot out dot print ln of that number so this is a filter method by using stream s1 is my stream object i created the stream object by using off method i'm giving some elements as input for the stream s1 dot filter of i'm giving each element as input for the filter method it will check the condition if condition satisfy that element will be considered otherwise it is not going to consider that once i call that filter it will return a new stream object on that new stream object i am calling for each method this for each method also introduced in java 1.8 version as part of iterable now this for each method will take each element and will print that element by using console let us take another example on the filter i am going to take some names as a stream and i want to perform some filter operation on the names so let me take a stream now i am going to take array list array list al is equal to new array list al dot add of some names like anil al dot add of some raja al dot add of some rani right al dot add of ashok now this is my array list which is having some names now i want to filter the names which are starting with character a anil starting with character a raja no rani no ashok starting with character a so how to find out the names from the collection which are starting with character a so i am going to do a filter how to do that filter in order to do that filter first we need to create the stream so let me take a stream stream s is equal to al dot stream i got the stream once i got the string now i am going to apply filter so how to filter this yes dot filter each name i will give as a input let me take it as s1 yes dot s1 dot s2 
starts with the if the name is starting with the character a then i want to filter that so once i apply this filter observe here s is my stream object s dot filter i'm giving each name as an input for this filter each name i'm considering as s1 s1 dot starts with of a if the name is starting with the character a then i'm going to collect that name and i'm going to print that name by using for each method system dot out dot print ln of that name are you guys clear with my point so this is a filter which is used to filter the names which are starting with character a this is the second example to filter the data similarly if you have some employee objects i want to filter the employee objects who are having salary greater than 1 lakh how to do that consider that we are having employee list so once we have the employee list we can apply filter on that list let's assume that emp is available emp is dot stream here consider that emp is a list of employee objects i'm calling stream method so which i am going to get as a stream object once i got the employees i want to filter that stream dot filter each employee object i will give and employee dot salary greater than or equal to 1 lakh the employees who are having salary greater than 1 lakh i want to filter them so like this i'm going to filter s dot filter employee object i'm giving as input for the filter e dot salary greater than 1 lakh once i call the filter method it will return a new stream that a new stream i'm going to print by using for each method each employee i want to print them who is having salary greater than 1 lakh like this we can apply a filter on the employee objects clear next one how to perform mapping operations by using stream so here assume that i am having four names now i want to convert all these names into upper case so names are available names i want to transform into upper case names that we can do by using map method how to do that mapping operation first let's create a stream from this array list so i'm going to create a stream stream s is equal to al dot stream stream method i'm using to create the stream object once i create the stream i'm going to call map method stream dot map each name i'm going to give as input and i'm going to convert that name into upper case name dot to upper case method i'm going to call so i'm giving the original name as input and i'm calling map method to convert the given name into upper case name so whenever i call this map method it will transform the data as per the given logic it will return the new stream that new stream data i'm going to print by using for each method so each name i'm giving as input to this for each method system dot out dot print ln of that name so this is a mapping operation by using stream filter is used to filter the data map is used to transform the data so we can combine both the filter and map operations in the single program right let us see how to do that what is the meaning of mapping operations mapping operations are used to transform the data filter is used to filter the data mapping is used to transform the data so what is the meaning of transforming the data i want to identify the employees who are having salary greater than 50000 i want only names of the employees let us see first one employees dot stream employees dot stream i'm going to get the stream object stream s is equal to employees dot stream assume that this employees is a collection which is holding group of employee objects if i do a filter s dot filter employee object employee dot salary greater than 50000 now it will return a new stream i don't want all the details of the employee who are having salary greater than 50000 i want to get only names of those employees for that i'm going to give e as a input e dot name okay so what is the meaning of that it is going to apply a filter on the employee records and i'm going to use a map method for the map method i'm giving the employee object and i'm getting only employee name so once we get this i'm going to call for each method 
Map is also an intermediate method. It will return new stream as an output. I'm going to print whatever the data that I'm getting as a output from the map. So here the combination of filter plus mapping we are doing. Filter is used to filter the data. Map is used to transform the data.